OpenAI finally came out with their Images API for their new GPT-1 image model. We've all been creating images with ChatGPT, but now we can do it through code. I'm gonna show you how to create images from their new image generation endpoint based on text prompts, create a new image using image references, edit an image using a mask, and then use their completions API to give us prompts to create pixel art with transparent backgrounds. Finally, I'll also tell you the cost of everything to do this, and it's not the cheapest. For the basic image generation, there are a couple of things that you need to be aware of whenever we're developing this. Is The first thing is in the OpenAI client, I have an organization here. Now, I've never done this before because you haven't needed to until now if you're going to use the image model. And the reason is because if you try to run this code, you're going to, if, if for the first time, you're going to have to go through some verification process. Okay. So in my readme, what this is going to look like is something similar to this. If you to run this, you're going to get a permission denied error. And that's because you need to go through some organization verification to use their GPT image one model. So you're going to go through this. You have to give it some form of ID. And once you do that, it just takes a couple minutes and then you will be able to have access to this model to now use their API. So then coming back here, once you've done that, we have the prompt, which is just a Studio Ghibli style drawing of a cat, because who has not done that? Wearing a business suit and four ninja cats trying to surround him and attack. So it's just client.images.generate. This is the new image model right here, GPT image one. We give it the prompt. We're going to decode this, and then we're going to save this as cat.png. And all of this will be under the OpenAI image gen folder in my GitHub in the description below. So whenever I go to run this, okay, it finished, it output the cat PNG, and let's see what this looks like. I mean, this is pretty good. I, honestly, still compared to the last model, this is absolutely amazing. This may not look super realistic, but I actually really like it. And now what I want to be able to do is create a new image using image references. So I'm going to take these four images here, just different types of soap, lotion, whatever. And I want to have a prompt to the new image model. And I want to create a gift basket from all of those images. So we're taking four images and we're going to create a brand new one that's going to be using those images as part of that new image. And how this works is a similar, similar way. We have OpenAI, make sure you have the OpenAI organization and your key. And the prompt is, I want a photorealistic image of a gift basket on a white background. And this time it's client.images.edit, okay? So this is the this is the edit uh, part of the API. We're going to give it again. You have to use the GPT Image One model if you want if you want this. And this time you can give an a list of images. So I already have all four of these images. Okay, right here in the images edit. So you'll you'll have these. So you have to download them as well. That's in my GitHub. We basically give it the prompt that we have up here. And again, the output from the API that we care about, the output property is the B64JSON. We're going to decode that, and then we're going to save that as a gift basket.png. Okay, so I just ran the image editing Python file. And again, this took all four of these images. So we have bath bomb, body lotion, incense kit, and soap. And then it created a gift basket PNG from those. So if we make this a little bit bigger, okay, so body lotion, incense kit, the soap, and then the bath, soap and bath bomb. Okay, that's that's amazing, right? And this looks really good. It's all in a white background, like I asked it to. There's a relax and unwind that was part of the prompt as well. I mean, this model is absolutely amazing. It's such a huge leap from the last one. All right, so now for the third way that we can use their API, and this is actually the second way to edit images, we're going to again be giving the model. This is the image that we're going to give it. This is the regular image, but here we have a mask image. Okay, so what does that mean? So we have the sunlit lounge. Okay, this is just just the basic image, and then we have a mask. So this part of this part of the file or the image is transparent. And then what we want to do is come back in here. We want to say a sunlight door in a sunlit indoor lounge area with a pool containing a flamingo. So the part of the image that is transparent, we basically want to replace that with the flamingo, okay? And then everything else is the same. 
All right, so this technique is called in painting. So I just ran my Python image in painting Python file. Again, you'll have all these files to run yourself. So we have the original image on the left. We have the mask in the middle. And then on the right is where it actually generated the flamingo that's inside the pool. Okay, that's really amazing. The I think the harder part about this, well, I say harder, but that requires a little bit of work is you just kind of coming up with the transparent part of the image that you want to be replaced by whatever you put in the prompt. Okay, but this is, I mean, this is absolutely amazing. I mean, I, I think you can see like the plants, the plant here in the background is a little bit different. There's no longer, um, there's no longer three chairs here, right? A, a lot, it looks slightly different in some of the areas, but I think a part of where the transparency was and they put the flamingo, um, I think that's kind of the, really the only parts that were really updated or changed, but everything else, looks really good. This is really amazing. Okay, and for the last way to use their image API that I'm gonna show you is through transparency. What this means is that basically you can have it create an image, but with a transparent background through this property right here. So we go to generate the image, you're just gonna pass in this background equals transparent. But we're gonna take this a step further and we're going to do more with this. So what we're going to be doing is first off, we want to call the completions API. We want to create five different pixel art style hats for my indie game. That's what I want to do, right? And it's going to be something similar to Stardew Valley. So essentially, I want to create five different pixel art, have it give me five different essentially prompts to create a pixel art with the transparent background and also give me the name of the file. Okay, while it's running, I just wanna go through this again. I think there's a couple of things you do need to know here is that I, first off in the, uh, in the text generation, I have it giving a pixel art image prompt list as the response format. So I wanna have a list of prompts. So I want each one to be the image prompt and the image name. Okay, so we're going through each of these image prompts, right? We're just getting the parsed message from the completion API. So for each of these image prompts, you know, I want to generate a pixel art style picture of the image prompt. And then when we go to save the image to the file, I'm retrieving the image name. And these are all done through using Pydantic models to make sure that we get the actual output type that we want so that I don't have to do any other strange parsing uh, with JSON or something to get uh, every prompt or anything that I need, right? We can use a Pydantic model Give, have the text generation give the exact output so that we can retrieve every image name and every image prompt for it to generate the images for us. Okay, and it finished. We have five different image files that are basically hats, which I asked it to, for this pixel art game that whatever it is that I would create. And here are the transparent backgrounds, right? This is the main thing is that these are transparent backgrounds. Um, and so we had the top hat, a Warren Farmer's hat, a magic hat, and so forth, right? This last one isn't exactly a good one because I want just the hat, not the actual like pixel avatar for the hat, but that's okay. These look really amazing. I mean, I mean, Either way, these look really amazing that it was able to generate and give us the transparent background, which is what you would want anyways. Okay, that's really awesome. This API is absolutely amazing. But however, one thing I wanna let you know is I started off, whenever I started this video, I specifically knew that this, my credit balance was $3.35 when I started, okay? I just did this and now it's a dollar ninety six. So I only generated the images that you've seen in this video. And so what's a what is that? A dollar thirty five and four dollar and thirty nine cents to create just these images, right? So how many did we create? We created uh, five just from the pixel art and then three from the cat, the composition, and the gift basket. Okay, that's what is that? I, we've only created a total of eight images. The editing, I think, took a lot because we had to give it other images, which I'm not sure how that exactly equates into part of the equation for the input tokens so that we can create the images. How? But just to let you know that this is all I've done, and that was a dollar and 39 cents to do that. The new images API is amazing because we can finally code in a way to programmatically have some AI automation or AI agents create things for us as part of a process. And 
and it's just going to help so much because this model is so much better than Dali 3. Everything you need for the project will be in the description below. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them down below as well. In the meantime, here's some other videos to watch and I'll see you next video.